So has the state government misled Texans about the amount of radiation in drinking water? Last night we told you about local communities that, according to state testing, have radioactive tap water. But now it turns out some of those readings may actually be even worse. And that's because chief investigative reporter Mark Greenblatt has discovered that state officials have lowered those results for years and they've been misinforming the public about how much radiation they were literally drinking in. Fill us in, Mark. Greg Lucy, you and I depend on the regular police to keep us safe from burglars and others who can do us harm. But we discovered that the people who are supposed to police radiation in your drinking water and protect you haven't been telling you the whole truth for decades. It says that in the Federal Register. It tells you not to do this. The TCEQ just skip over that section? She's Linda Brookins of the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. I think I've told you already, we have been evaluated by EPA in the past prior to 2008 and we had no findings. Where Brookins oversees drinking water quality for all of Texas. So because they didn't catch you, breaking that advice. That makes it okay. Is that the right way to do this? Kind we of were thing? not hiding anything. We asked her about something else we uncovered. What would you tell me if I have talked to numerous scientists across the nation that would say that what TCEQ did was bad science? Well, I guess I have no comment on that. On Tuesday, we first introduced you to these residents who get their water from Harris County Municipal Utility District number 105, which violated federal legal limits for radiation two years in a row. It's one of hundreds of water providers in our area and around the state where state labs have detected a particularly dangerous form of radiation in the water you drink alpha radiation. The alpha particle, this is the 800 pound gorilla of radioactive particles. Dr. David Ozanoff is a nationally known expert on drinking water and health. And he says drinking water with alpha can cause problems. When it hits something, it does a ferocious amount of damage. And although the chances are low, he says drink enough alpha over enough time and your risk goes up for the disease that we call cancer. But ask TCEQ. This is a naturally occurring element. I understand it's a naturally occurring element, but just because it's naturally occurring doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to hurt you. And these moms say the state needs a reality check. That just shows me that they do not care. But what has them even more concerned is something else we uncovered that brings into question everything TCEQ has been telling Texans about radiation in their water for decades. What would you tell me if I have talked to numerous scientists across the nation that would say that what TCEQ did was bad science. Well, I guess I have no comment on that. So what's the problem? You see, long ago, folks here at the EPA's headquarters set the record straight when it comes to how states are supposed to warn you when they find radiation that can cause cancer in the very water that you drink. The trouble is, we've discovered that Texas regulators didn't listen and instead underreported radiation readings for years letting some water systems avoid violations, even allowing the radiation to continue to flow. You see, when the state tests your water for radiation, they get a number. The higher the number, the more radiation. But then the scientists also calculate something called the test's margin of error. It's a statistic to remind them that the test result might be a certain amount higher or a certain amount lower. But in science, the actual test result is left untouched. So guess what we found TCEQ doing? Well, for decades, they took each radiation test result and would always subtract from it its margin of error, always lowering the amount of radiation that was actually found. The result? Lower official water radiation scores in communities all across Texas. What do you think about that? Well, I think from a public health standpoint, it's hard to defend it. He's top water quality scientist and toxicologist Dr. Joshua Hamilton and he took a look at what we uncovered. You're not really getting an accurate picture of what your health risk might be uh, nor does your community really know what the actual exposures are. Take MUD 105. For the last 20 years with the subtractions it only was cited for two radiation violations in 2008 and 2009. 
but take away the bad math and it actually had 12 times that it went over the legal limit for radiation. Warning signs that were missed for decades and the whole thing makes Hamilton suspicious. I don't see how it could be accidental. The word that comes up in my mind is cover up. And Dr. Rosanoff goes further. It sure looks that way. Don't you understand that by subtracting off the margin of error, you have real impact on the people that live there? Because if a water system doesn't get a violation, they won't fix the problem. I do not believe that what TCEQ was do doing at that time has impacted human health. In fact, even after the EPA published this federal rule in 2000 banning the practice, the TCEQ kept right on subtracting, lowering water radiation scores across the state until this EPA audit finally put a halt to it nine years later. Did you happen to skip over page 76727 of the federal rule? Because right in here in 2000, EPA told you, don't subtract for margin of error. Did you skip that part? It doesn't say not to subtract. It doesn't. It is silent. I'd like you to go ahead and hold this in your hand for a moment and read the part that's underlined in blue. I'm not going to do that on camera. Well, just in case you wanted to read for yourself what she wouldn't, we've posted the entire section of that 2000 federal rule online at KHOU.com. And they're doing it, and will people listening to this go research that it's in the Texas newspapers that there's all this uranium and other radioactive isotopes at levels that it shouldn't be? They're adding it to the water. I've covered it with Dr. Conant here on the air. This is the reality. And it is so important that when they try to say, hey, we're just putting fluoride in the water, it's good for you, even though they know it causes cancer and all the rest of it and accelerates the effect of other toxins and poisons as an adjuvant, the key is they cannot sell people that mercury and lead and uranium is good, and that is being added along with the fluoride. It's it's all called fluoride, but it's just the toxic waste derivatives, and they allow it because it's overall to reduce fertility, as the book written 25 years ago by the White House science czar, John P. Holdren, wrote. Lithium uh, is, is being advocated by our government, by Big Brother, to be put in the water in all municipal water supplies and bottled water. Now, why do they want lithium? Two reasons. One, because lithium is used to treat bipolar uh, uh, mental disorders, and what it does is it makes you calm, it makes you docile. So again, uh, more lithium in the water, they, they, their argument is suicide rates go down, but the real argument, as far as I'm concerned, is Big Brother wants a docile population, and, you know, if you're, you know, juiced up on lithium, you're, the chances that you're going to, like, actually take some action and actually think for yourself decrease, because you're on lithium, you don't care. Uh, and you can read this where, where Government scientists, and, and, and it's all over the Internet, are advocating, are actually saying, let's put lithium in the water. Because when you have trace amounts of naturally occurring lithium, they make this argument, which is completely bogus, that in those areas, one of which is in Texas, where you have naturally occurring lithium, crime rates and suicide rates go down. Which, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to look at that argument and, and call it for, for the BS that it is. Now, the second thing is what we learned on the show, which is lithium works with uranium. These two chemicals in, in a, 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 hydrolo a, hydro a hydrology, water, sorry, <laughs> I'm so excited about this, it makes me crazy. They actually work and they actually increase each other's efficacy. We have eco-science. They planned it all. The White House science are. These people are pure evil. Absolutely. And, and I, I, that's what Dr. Blaylock, brain surgeon, said, is that all these things work together and that fluoride then activates and supercharges. Absolutely. It's a slow poisoning. The fluoride is an adjuvant, just like they add things to vaccines to supercharge them. The fluoride is the is the adjuvant that that turbocharges it. Uh, but 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 Michael, you've got the proof in here, and then now it's even in the news in Texas. But they say, oh, we don't know why uranium's there or why the state covers it up. Yep. Because they're adding.